Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, thanks for tuning in. So today I am going to be showing you some of the games that I've been collecting over the last few weeks. Now I was going to make this video into two videos because there is quite a few games but then I thought nah, let's not, you know, let's not do that. Let's do one whole video and go through all these games at once. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first game that we have is Blue Dragon and I remember playing this game quite a lot. On the 360 I did manage to complete it the game actually comes on three discs believe it or not and it's not the best looking game to be honest for a 360 game but it's the gameplay and the story that I really enjoyed and I just wanted it in my collection to be honest with you and I went on to eBay and I found it for five pounds to the door and you can't go wrong yeah the discs aren't in the best of condition but what can you expect for five pounds right so yeah I mean Something good to have in the collection if you're wanting to collect 360 games because I do believe you can play these games on the Xbox Series X. And you do get a full colour manual. Where's those days gone when you get a, a nice colour manual with the game, right? But I guess they're trying to save trees and stuff, so that's, you know, fair dues, I guess. But, I mean, complete game with a manual, can't go wrong. Awesome. So next up, we have Street Fighter X Tekken. I played this game a lot on the 360 and I really wanted this game for the V2 as well but it's really just climbed in price so I thought you know what gotta let this one pass for the Vita but I'll get it on the 360 um yeah discs are okay I mean it comes with the manual as well this was £10 to the door can't go wrong I mean you can pick up some real real gems um for the, three, for the 360 uh, and I thought you know what I'm gonna pick some of these games up and that's what I did moving on swiftly this is a game that I love Castlevania I love the you know I love the whole series uh, and I love Metroidvania type games as well so Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood on one disc is epic a classic classic you know game in my humble opinion one of the best Castlevanias out there Symphony of the Night and this was from Limited Run as well took a while to get to me but finally I got it and it's in my possession if you do have double copies of this game this game is going for insane amounts of money on eBay I have seen it 90 quid and upwards so yeah definitely if you're wanting to make some money on this game you can actually make some money on it if you haven't opened it but again definitely want to have in the collection I'm so glad that I do have it in the physical form and can't wait to actually well to be honest with you I do have it digitally so I won't be opening this one unless I want to play Rondo of Blood which I can't see happening anytime soon Moving on, we have Digimon World. I think this is part two to the PS1 game that I played way back in the days and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And the thing is, I'm not 100% sure if this is the actual right one because there is quite a few. But if that's the case, I think I only paid £13 to the door, so not bad at all. Uh, and this was from eBay. So if you're into like Digimon, I mean, why not? Good for the collection. And if you like playing these types of games, it is like a strategy game, so I thought why not give it a go. Next up, we have a record of the Lord of War. I did play this on the actual Game Pass when I had my Xbox Series S, but I didn't get to complete it. And I was, I was so happy to see it coming to the Switch. And now that I do have it in the physical form, I will be definitely completing this game, making a review on it, because I love these types of games. Next up, we have Shredder's Revenge. This is a game that I bought digitally and played a ton of. And I thought, you know what? Gotta have it physically, because you never know. I'm not into like digital games, so. The games that I do love and have a passion for, I always try to get them physically. And this is a game that definitely I had to buy it just to have it in my collection because that's just the way I am. Next up, we have a game called Omari. Omari, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But the reason why I got this game is because it just, this little kid on the front just reminded me of my son and I just bought the game because that was the reason why. I just thought, this reminds me of my son, I'm getting it. I don't even know what the game's about. And then later on it was recommended to me by a friend as well, so I thought, you know what, why not, we'll go ahead and pick this one up. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have played this game or know anything about this game. Yeah, so <laughs> I do that a lot. Next up, we have Animal Crossing. I haven't actually sat down and played an Animal Crossing game ever, but my missus is really into this kind of stuff. So I thought, you know what, I'll surprise her and I'll get this game for her and she can have some fun on it. It's one of those games, I guess, where you can just chill, kill some time and it's just lighthearted. And fun I guess you know I don't know anything much about Animal Crossing anyway moving on we have Blood Rain Betrayal this is like a Castlevania type game where it's like a side roller Metroidvania Castlevania type and I love these types of games and I saw this uh, on a trailer 
And I thought I've definitely, definitely got to have this in my collection. And that's the reason why I bought this, to be honest with you. And it did come from Limited Run. And as you know, if you buy something from Limited Run, it does take a while to get to you. So I'm really glad to have this, again, physically on the Nintendo Switch. And I will be playing it a lot. Then we have a collection of Mana. This is another game that I'm trying to collect. I think there's Trails of Mana and I've got the other one. I can't remember what it's called. So I'll have all three of them in my possession. And I'll be starting them at some point. These are classic games. These are games that you know you need to... You can just sit down and play these games. And just reminisce of past times. This next game was recommended to me by my good friend. And it's called Skull. And I didn't even... I didn't even watch any trailers or anything, I'm not even going to lie, because when he recommends a game, he rec you know, I know that it's going to be epic, so straight away, watched the trailer and I was like, hell yeah, definitely getting this game, and I've just watched the trailer as I was making this video because the game came through, so I thought, you know what, definitely going to get this game, there's so much to do in it, and it just looks so much fun, right up my alley, I love games like this that are simple, 2D sprites, side scrollers, this one doesn't seem very simple though, it does seem a bit difficult, but we'll see. I'll make a review on it. Anyway, moving on. Then we've got Turtles the Cowabunga Collection. This is one that I had to get because me and my next door neighbour used to play this a lot when we were kids. And it was the uh, beat em up type. I can't remember what it's called now, but it was the one that used to fight each other on and I always used to uh, whoop his butt on it. <laughs> so I thought, why not get it into the collection and maybe me and my son can play it when he's a bit older. Good to have in the collection again, like I said, physical copies are the best way to go, especially on ga games that you're really going to enjoy. Then we have Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I did open this, I didn't want I didn't want to at the time, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to start it. I did start it, I put 16 or 17 hours into it, it is a great game, I really need to get back to it and play it. Then I have Xenoblade Chronicles 2, had to get the whole collection, you see. And then Tona. Toner is very, very expensive, guys. Uh, it's the most expensive out of the lot. I paid £70 for my copy, so I don't know why, but that's how much it was at, at the time. And I had to get it from Amazon. I don't even like shopping from Amazon. And then, obviously, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So I'm going to go back and play Xenoblade uh, Chronicles 1, and then start 2, and then Toner, and then, you know, and then 3. Even though you don't have to play them in order, I've been told you can play them in any which way, but why not? It's 1, 2, 3. Do it in 1, 2, 3, right? So definitely going to check these out and this is about three, 400 hours plus games just here in one series, do you know what I'm saying? So a lot of hours uh, to be synced into these games, definitely one to have in the collection. Moving on, Trail Zero, another game that I've been dying to get my hands on. I didn't even know this game was actually coming to the Switch and I've been watching videos on this game for at least three or four months. I think it originally came out on the PSP, forgive me if I'm wrong, I don't know, I can't remember. but. It is a game that I actually love and I can't actually wait to actually start this game from start to finish. It's one of those games that I'm really going to enjoy. I mean, I've watched videos back to back of reviews, non-spoiler reviews, obviously, because I don't like it when people spoil it. But yeah, that was the collection, guys. What did you think to it? Let me know in the comment section what I should start because there's so many games that I would love to play out of all of these games. I'm thinking to go back, like I mentioned earlier, and play Xenoblade 1 or I might just play uh, Trails. I don't know, I'm just, I can't make my mind up. But you guys let me know in the comment section what I should do. I mean, there's a ton of games and you know, I just really don't know which one to actually uh, go, go for at the moment. But yeah, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, stay safe and peace.